Here we go, guys. Another uh, quick chart look at Theta and Theta Fuel. And today's uh, Friday, August 13th. Hope you have it, hoping you're having a great day. And we're going to look at this and see why Theta is kind of in uh, quicksand here and can't uh, pop out and, and, and start running. Uh, but first, I want to kind of go back in history and show that uh, both uh, T Fuel and Theta love these sideways consolidation zones. And uh, whenever you see this on any asset, stocks, uh, gold, silver, uh, cryptos, whatever, uh, the longer that a, an asset trades uh, in a consolidation zone, you'll hear that word a lot here in, in, on this video, uh, the stronger and more powerful uh, either the breakout to the upside or a breakdown to the downside, because it works either way. So the best thing to do when you see uh, an asset that you're watching, stock, metals, crypto, just uh, see which way it breaks and then follow uh, the wheels, okay? Because the market's always right, we're not always right, even though we think, you know, it should be breaking out and it doesn't, uh, you, know, the, you know, just like Mother Nature, you know, it's, the market's undefeated and Mother Nature's undefeated. So anyway, here recently we had this, well more recently we had this sideways consolidation zone, had a great breakout candle here. And as you can see, consolidation zone, then we broke to the downside. So the market was right. Consolidation, uh, uh, more of a consolidation break to the downside again, okay? So right now where we are, we're in, technically it's called an inside bar uh, formation. We're trading inside this green bullish engulfing candle that cleared out the, uh, uh, the recent consolidation zone. Now, yeah, we wicked over it. That was all um, resistance and, and profit taking and and selling off up there in that area, not allowing it to uh, basically clear and get a daily close. You know, over 7:30 up to 7:60 according to the 0.5 uh, fib here. So this high pivot uh, resistance zone and well, you have the high pivot resistance zone number one, the 200 number two and this 0.5 uh, you know fib line number three is you have three strong factors uh keeping it from pushing to the upside and then um that's really it now we are over the 20 uh which is bullish you want to stay there but once we clear that i think it's you know as i say katie bar the door we're going to be running uh up into the uh, mid to high nines, uh, probably 10, because the market loves those whole round even numbers. Uh, if we can get above that uh, uh, fib line up here. But first of all, no use talking about, you know, what theta is going to be at the end of the year. No use talking about, um, you know, any uh, price prediction if you can't get over the 200 in, in this high pivot resistance zone. I mean, it's dead, uh, quite honestly, price action until we get up there. I don't know if it's you know, a, a, a marketing situation regarding, you know, the market just doesn't, uh, you know, there's not enough buy action in here or if there's higher powers trying to hold it in here. As you can see, even going back into this range back in May, uh, we just briefly got up there, looked like that was going to hold us. And then, you know, everybody was saying we're going to get one of these candles like this red candle to the upside, but, you know, powers to be brought it back in and then you know like the rest of the crypto market came back in as well so uh to me this is a no-go zone i'm not buying or selling in here uh, you know we drop below the 20 that's another story or if we close confirm uh above this area with a candle similar to this one uh then that's another story uh to continue okay and then uh see our t fuel uh, kind of the same situation, uh, but 100% of the time, not 99% of the time, uh, the 20 and the 200 will separate. The 20 is lagging indicator moving average because it follows 28 price average of your candles, stocks, whatever. So if we break out, which hopefully we will, I mean, you know, there's no guarantee either way, uh, but hopefully it will. And then the 20 will separate from the 200. And it'll be a big separation, you know, like we've already seen. See, back here, consolidation zone in the highlighted area, broke up and out of it. The 20 was right there at the 200. Then we had a huge separation. 
that's what will happen here. Now, if we break the downside, same thing will happen except it'll be a huge, uh, you know, push, dive, waterfall uh, to the downside. I don't believe that'll happen, but, you know, the, the charts are always right, the market's always right, so no matter what anybody else says on the deal. But anyway, oh, one more little thing I want to throw out there. And then if you want to find out more, you know, how we do this stuff, uh, come on over to our Patreon site. But uh, this total market cap, uh, this is the next uh, big deal uh, that you got to watch for. And this is the amount of funds, money, market cap that's in uh, the altcoins or crypto market as a whole, excluding Bitcoin. See right up here, excluding Bitcoin. So this is not Bitcoin, it's just all your altcoins. And every big bullish engulfing candle here, if you are in a strong coin, let's say, okay, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're in a good quality coin, every big bullish uh, breakout that you see here, even the last run up, uh, even on the weekly, you can go back and look at your coin and your coin. This is kind of a confirmation that we're ready to run, okay? And uh, this uh, weekly chart tells a lot. And uh, I'm just sitting here saying, yeah, I'm extremely bullish uh, through the end of the year. And uh, we'll just kind of leave it at that because the, the more technical information is for our uh, Patreon members. But um, I, I think you know what I'm getting at. All right, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Um, you know, uh, just let us know any uh, uh, questions you may have about what we cover, and we will see you on the charts.